Yeah, so my story goes like this. My name is Steve Mack and welcome to my passion. I love helping clients find their dream locations, villages and really building their dream home. Myself, I was born and bred in a little country town called Gippsland, Tarelgan and um, having grown up in a 14 square property and working and seeing mum struggling in that property and our roof leaking at an early age and then just seeing her just struggle to pay the bills I thought there must be an easier way. My passion for property really began a simple game of Monopoly and then re really moving into my first property at the age of 18 and just seeing how easy it was really just by putting my mind to it and showing my friends what I had achieved owning two properties by the age of 19. When looking for the ideal location, probably the biggest question I've always asked myself is, this isn't about me, it's not about the client, it's more about their family and their generations, what they want to create. So I'm always looking around and just trying to find the, the right spot that's got the right parks, the barbecue areas, and where families can grow. So I'm out at a, uh, a new project at uh, Lilium. Uh, started in 2017, 400 brand new house sites. Uh, this is on the, I guess, the doorstep of the Southeast Growth Corridor. Uh, Royal Botanical Gardens, only 12 minutes away. We're gonna take a bit of a tour on site and actually show people what it looks like from ground up, how to build a house, uh, how to find the right land, and of course, how to marry up with the right developers and the right people. Hey guys, I'm out here with Michael at the Lillian Project. Uh, Michael's part of uh, Villa World. We were just having a discussion before. Really wanted to just share with our clientele what goes on behind the scenes and actually how to buy the right block of land. It's a lot more involved when you say Michael than just literally buying off this plan. One of the points of difference would be that myself, people like Michael, we actually go out on site with our clients. We're here, this is, um, not many people know this, but just a borehole. Um, part of uh, this land's about to title tomorrow, but part of doing a soil test is ascertaining the fill, uh, the contours of the block, whether a slab needs to be an M class, H or P, and essentially all that's meaning for the clients is we want to price protect our clients, we want to have the site costs as cheap as possible, but still engineer the slabs. I'm um, going to go for a bit of a walk to show you around. So some of the stuff we look for as a um, site's been developed is this one's ready to go to site. So Water mains are going in here, so tap works going in, surveying pegs. Um, these guys spend a lot of time just making sure all these pegs are in, but essentially what this is doing is establishing um, what people call tidal boundaries. So um, in here, there's always two pegs to look for. There's always the permanent marker, yep. um, and this one here is the surveying peg. Yep. A lot of times we can find if these are knocked over, you can get done for things like what's called re-establishment surveys. Yep. Uh, what we try and do is avoid this so we're not building over boundaries. Yeah, so um, yeah, just out here with Patrick at Pravian really and we're just talking about the market, um, how we're helping clients, how we're serving. Uh, really just want to get your views on uh, really today's market with 2019, we're almost halfway through, mm -hmm. absolutely killing it. Um, then we noticed a bit of a decline for a while, it's come back up, had some good news. Yep. What's happening? Yeah, so the market, at, we, we've still been going well in this new space, new house and land space. I, I think we haven't had as much of a, 
as deep as I think the established market has. So mm-hmm. hence why it is a good time for investors to still focus on new stuff rather than to buy an establishment, especially with everything that's, that's been happening. But um, look, we've had some great news over the weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, great outcomes in terms of um, in terms of interest rates coming back um, down again. We've got some strong um, policies coming out as well to help first home buyers and um, people borrow more money in general as well, which I think will help like spike this um, market completely up all over again. Yeah. We we're chatting briefly about um, that the other day with um, one of my bosses, mm-hmm. and we we're talking about the obviously the first home buyers grant. Mm-hmm. So the what our belief is is the grant's still going to remain as is, mm-hmm. and then the government's going to insure uh, or reduce the LMI, pull the loans back down eighty percent, which is in terms just going to mean an absolute spike in building. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that policy is also going to still get it passed, um, but it's going to come out later this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the moment, like we're finding a lot of inquiries like very, very strong. Uh, it was great the weekend is over, mm-hmm. and now we're absolutely smashing it. But more about, uh, I guess, back onto the land. Mm-hmm. So how many lots are you looking after? Uh, well, at, in total at the moment, um, here in our estate here alone, we've got another 350 lots to go out of the 750 properties mm-hmm. or so that um, are in this estate in general. Um, but we've got a lot more in the pipeline coming up all around the surrounding areas at the moment. As more well. sites in? Uh... Sites all around the place, yeah. So please stay tuned to Wolf Dean because we've definitely got a few more um, Ooh, sites okay. coming out. So my story goes like this, um, born, born in a little country town and uh, grew up and hit the age of 12 and we didn't really have a lot back then and um, mum worked hard and really I had to sort of chip in behind the scenes and I decided to start some businesses and I guess I learned a lot um, before it even hit really adolescence. Uh, I respect the kids that are doing paper rounds and collecting cans and going out there mowing the lawns on the weekend because it really teaches you great character. Uh, as I guess I saw mum struggling, I really sort of started to think myself, what does success mean to me and what does happiness mean? And, and those values change, but at 18, um, I really, I, I moved away, I moved out of home and just found some new friends and connected with them and bought my first property could not afford much, uh, bought a property for $30,000. And it just felt good to own a home. Uh, it felt good to own something that was mine. And I, I learned, I read a lot, I, uh, I listened to a lot of audio, uh, a bit of Rich Dad and Poor Dad, and just, just really just focused on the content and the value that I was getting in the message, and which is really just invest in yourself and invest in your own success and invest in, most importantly, in your mindset. Uh, I try and share that nowadays with, uh, with my clients. And um, I don't know, I, I progressed and built some brand new homes when, by the time I was 25 and absolutely loved just seeing property sort of come together and it's kind of started to form part of what I did and really had a passion for the industry. Um, but what I really had a passion for was just was seeing people uh, take possession of their own homes and take responsibility of their own life. Um, but for myself, it was just, it was a hard struggle for a while. Um, owning a couple of houses and doing a bit of traveling and really conveying the best message. And, and just through hard work and dedication, uh, I'll go, I got there. Um, and property for me meant so much. I actually uh, created so many good memories from there and pretty well had it all, I thought. Um, then age of 35, 36, uh, something terrible happened in the industry that I was working in and uh, just cost me a lot of money. Um, and went from having absolutely everything to pretty well on the brink of, not death, but just giving up uh, and I've never given up. And what I really want to convey to anybody is never give up. Just every day has a silver lining. Every day you have an opportunity to do something for yourself, something better. 
And this story isn't about property, it's about you. It's more about just investing, it's just making sure that you've got the right people around you, the right supporters, cut the crap, get the negativity out of your life and turn off the TV and start reading educational books and start going to seminars and really be passionate about your life and take ownership of it. We've only got a short term or a short time on earth and I really believe we're, we're here to make a contribution and giving back to others. Um, where am I now? Well, nowadays I'm sick happy I, i'm joyful with every moment i like the fact that i can impact so many people just by guiding them and, and them trusting in what i do so they can build a, a new home with me and create a future for themselves but most importantly just have somewhere where their family is going to grow up their kids um, and really just getting out of the rental rat race um, forget the nine to five if you can and really just hustle 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 Work as hard as you can. Don't go home at five and just sit down on your couch and just watch TV. Use those extra two or three hours to really just invest in your brain. Just get out there and network. Get to know people. Take two or three days a week and really be passionate about your own goals. Uh, I would share with anybody uh, that wants a few success tips, write down your goals, look at them twice daily, um, have a morning routine, even if it's a one hour morning routine. Get out of bed, go for a walk, um, do your exercise in the morning, own your day, own it, and then set yourself up for success. Then go about your mundane day if need be, but make your life a choice, make your work a choice. You have choices. And I'm gonna to say to you, I believe in you, I, I wanna connect with you. I wanna say thank you for tuning in and watching my journey. Uh, and I wanna share with you that anybody can do it because I. I've had everything, I've lost everything, and, and now I'm coming back, uh, and you can too. So thank you so much.